All right, that actually really wasn't too hard, dude. That's the old one. You can see this is the side that I was leaking on. Dude, it literally just pulled off. Like, I didn't even have to mess with it. Didn't even have to mess with the clamp. I just literally just pulled it off. And you can see it's real soft. And there's like a hole somewhere on it. And this is the end that was leaking. See a little slit right there? That's what was leaking. And it leaked like really bad. So, even the smallest little holes can really cause some trouble. Alright, it's done. I did that hose, this hose, lower radiator, and then those two small hoses. The small hoses took me like uh, three hours, the two small hoses, and the uh, three big ones, upper radiator, lower radiator, and the uh, side engine so whatever that is uh took me like an hour and a half or an hour i was literally just right here and the hose is over there you can't really see it but all i did was use these 45 degree needle nose pliers and i just i went at it and actually putting it back on took like 30 minutes in itself and the other one was kind of easy there's another one like right on top Right on top of the oil filter, right there. And that one was a little bit, it took me like 30 minutes to get on and off. It was all right. It was actually easier than I thought it would be. A lot of people were saying I had to take off the intake manifold and stuff like that, but nope. So total time it took was three hours to do the devil hoses, the two small ones by the oil cooler, and then uh, about an hour to do those other three. All right guys, just put coolant in. I'm gonna start it up real quick and check for leaks. Well, doesn't look like there's any leaks. The uh, lower red radiator hose where it connects to the radiator kind of seems fishy. Uh, but if anything, it'll just be because uh, the spring clamp is worn out. I'll order a couple of spring clamps just in case. And now I'm going to a... And now I'm going to a party.